This is the typical morning look. So I haven't been like fully getting ready for school because the laptop camera doesn't really pick up all of the things, all of the blemishes and imperfections like my phone camera does. So um, I haven't really been wasting my time getting super ready in the morning with online teaching, but this is pretty much what I look like every day. Sometimes if I'm trying to be a little bit more, you know, formal, I'll not wear the hat. But I did want to show this shirt because it's a newer purchase and I got it from a small business on the East Coast that sells clothes about mental health and wellness. So it says, it's okay not to be okay. I also have some other uh, t-shirts and sweatshirts that I got from them and I just really like the message. So that's what I'm wearing today. Luke of the day. Got to... Start the car, get it warming up. Don't mind the porta potty right next to my car. They're doing construction in our backyard and they thought that was the perfect spot to put a porta potty. Coffee cup of choice for the day. Oh, and Bay saved me coffee. Wow. So happy that he saved me enough to get through my day. I'm trolling him right now and he's ignoring me because he didn't save me coffee. You had to wake up before noon. Before noon? It's 7 a.m. He seriously gets up at like 5 a.m., drinks the whole pot of coffee that I make for two of us, and I filled this sucker up to like the, the 8, 10, or 12 mark. He's drinking all that coffee. So I guess um, you get a little bonus with this video, a day in the life of Claire and Andy in the morning. Such a, a lo <laughs> lovely couple. Got my hazelnut great value coffee creamer. It's da bomb. And I weigh it out because otherwise I put too much in and then it just tastes like sugar. Oops, that's a little bit too much. I try to do between like 25 and 30 grams. Come on, Henry. You gotta go potty. Come on. Go potty. Go potty. I used to have to walk him, like, basically around the freaking block, which I hate because it takes a lot of time and in the morning I'm in a rush. But since we moved here, he for the most part, we'll go. I don't even have to put him on a leash. He doesn't want to go today though. Go potty. Are you camera shy? Okay, I'll turn the camera off. Andy's leaving for the day. It's about 7.39. Go wave bye to Andy. Uh, even though he doesn't save me coffee. I love that guy. So, hey YouTube fam, what's up? This is a little day in the life of a COVID teacher. Ooh. Since March 13th of 2020, we haven't had a in-session school day. We went to online teaching. I've talked about this before, but uh, we're still doing online teaching. It's a, uh, and I believe we will be doing a full year of online school. That's just my opinion. Um, it's already been almost a year, a few more months. 
So um, I figured to document this, you know, in 10, 20, 30 years, if I have kids or grandkids someday and I'm telling them about what it was like living through COVID 2020 or COVID-19 in 2020, I could have this just to show them because I don't think there will ever be, well, fingers crossed, <laughs> that there will never be another time that I go through something like this in my teaching career. So. I am just gonna bring the camera along and kind of show you what's up in my day-to-day -day life. It definitely is not as physically taxing because I don't have to be on my feet all day like I do when I have kids in building, but it still is pretty taxing mentally because there is a lot to do and um, you know, there's just a whole host of new issues that come with online teaching. So. I guess buckle up with me. I'm gonna head to school and yeah, I hope you enjoy. So this is the setup. I have my little selfie light so I show up better for the kids on screen. My main laptop that I zoom with, that my grade book is on, I check my email, everything on that laptop. And this is a second laptop, my old one, that I use to, basically I have all the little squares on Zoom of all the kids' names and if they choose to show themselves on camera, they show up on this one. So that one's just a second screen for me to see everybody's beautiful faces. Got my little avocado. One of the first things I do when I get here is fill this up with water. Try to get three of these a day, which equals 13 and a half cups. Sometimes I only get two, but that's still pretty good. Gotta stay hydrated. So usually when I first get here, I have to do a COVID um, like screening evaluation where I basically go through, check off if I have any symptoms and sign it. And then obviously if I did check that I'm having symptoms, I would get an email telling me to go home. Uh, but I have to do that every day when I come in. And then I check my email, which usually takes quite a while. Um, I take attendance for the previous day to show which students showed up to the Zooms and then I still have a little bit of time to kill before my first Zoom starts. So then I kind of will just either grade or plan for the upcoming classes, that kind of thing. So my first class starts in 15 minutes. So I'm kind of just gonna work in this standing uh, little station until it's time to get started. So after I Zoom, I usually have a good chunk of time in between each class Zoom. So I'll usually move my laptop to this sitting area and work here in between Zooms. Okay, so the way my schedule works is 
I got a half hour of work time before lunch and then I got a half hour lunch. So usually what I do is I eat while I work during that half hour work time. And then on my lunch break, I get up and move around and get some steps in for my step tracker. Um, and I've found that's just a good way to like break up the day and uh, get a little bit more active. So I'm gonna take my lunch now and continue to work a little bit while I eat and then I'll get my steps in. So when I go on my walk, I normally would just go up this staircase, but this is the staircase that is down only. So I go across to this side to get to the staircase so I can go up. And I'm just gonna walk around this upstairs part. Okay, so uh, one of the classes I teach involves food. For an FCS teacher, I don't have like the typical classroom for that, as you can see. Like we don't have mini kitchenettes for groups. We don't have a fridge really, other than the mini fridge. We don't have ovens or stovetops. Um, so I have to get really creative with that. And with the class of Real Life 101, the foods unit is a big reason that a lot of kids choose to take the class. So even though we're still uh, doing school online, I wanted to you know, still be able to do the foods unit. So I'm gonna be prepping the, the food kits today and basically I'll have those set out uh, all ready to go at the front of the school. Kids can come in masked up and pick up their food kits and it's basically gonna have everything they need for uh, the different food labs that they're gonna do and this way they'll still get to have that fun making the, the food labs and um, you know still get as much out of the class as they can. So I'm gonna spend some time today with the supplies that I do have, getting all of that stuff ready. And then probably like the Monday, I will pick up a P card and go to the store and buy the supplies that I still need uh, to get for all the kids. So I'm really excited for this. It's gonna be fun, but it is gonna take a lot of planning because I have to budget and figure out how much of everything to get. And they're gonna be making a lot of different food recipes. So here's what all the food labs look like that I've created my first couple years here. Uh, these are the ones that are tried and true, kids love them. So I try to incorporate the main ones and then if we have enough money left over or an, and or enough time, then I'll add in those little extra ones. Typically it's organized by lab type. So either they do it individually by themselves or as a group, obviously with uh, doing this at home, all of these are gonna be individual, but that's gonna be fine, it'll work out. So here's one, it's crazy dipped pretzels. I just include the ingredients, what they need, all of the supplies, and then I give them instructions for what to do. And then they have an evaluation to complete just a follow-up questions, you know, taste, appearance, everything, um, evaluating the food that they've made. So I feel like I could go way into more detail and really teach them about just all the like science behind food and I feel like I'm kind of hindered in doing that with my current setup but uh, I guess that can be a goal for the future and then with them being at home this time around it's that's going to present even more problems because I'm assuming that everyone has you know a microwave um, a stove top and that might not necessarily be true so I'm hopefully gonna be able to uh, still have all students participate, um, but there definitely could be students, some students that don't have all of the appliances at home that they need to complete these recipes. So I've gone through and took inventory of what I have and what I still need to get and basically made a list according to each recipe of how much I need of each ingredient. Uh, there's 25 kids in the class so um, I just had to multiply each individual ingredient for each recipe and then what I did is I totaled up each individual ingredient at the very bottom. So when I go to the store I know automatically how much of each ingredient I need total. And then basically I'll take it recipe by recipe and um, you know, depending on how much money it's costing, I kind of like keep a calculator on my phone going as I add things to my cart. And then um, if it gets to the point where I'm spending too much, I'll have to cut out a recipe or two, but hopefully it doesn't get to that point. After the regular school day, I'm gonna go to the store and stock up on all the stuff 
and I'll finish up the food kits um, and get those ready for pickup. But for today, with the ingredients that I do have, I'm gonna get this stuff measured out and ready to go so it's less work for me um, for the day of when, um, you know, it's kind of down to crunch time and we need to get the food kits ready to go. I can call it good for today. And the the thing is, this isn't even close to half of the stuff that I'm gonna be prepping. Oh man. All right, I am done for the day. Gonna head home. Pretty tired. It was a pretty full day. So our normal school day, teachers have to be there at 7:05 a.m. and we can leave at 2:35. Um, but that is a little bit, um, different now. Like we still technically need to be working during that same time frame, but, um, sometimes I'll leave at like two and then I'll go home and work a little bit some more on my laptop or, um, you know, just doing more work at home rather than staying at school the entire school day. So yeah, that was kind of the gist of it. Uh, not a whole lot of social interaction, um, a lot of sitting in my room by myself, just working on my laptop. Um, and I didn't actually film while I was zooming, but I just stand and zoom in front of my laptop with the students. I just want to say a couple things about, um, for my fellow teachers, if you are in the same situation as me, reach out at any time. I would love to chat with you about uh, how crazy our job is right now. And if you are in person right now as a teacher, um, or like even if you have kids who are in school right now, physically in person, I have a lot of questions and thoughts about that as well. So feel free to let me know in the chat where you stand with um, where the world is at with our online learning right now or our in-person learning right now. On that note, if you have not subscribed to my channel yet, please do so right now. Hit the subscribe button. Like I said, please leave me a comment, have a talk with me. I love to chat with people in the comments of my videos. And of course, make sure you hit that like button. These things really help me out with just spreading the word about my channel and helping people be more aware of my videos. Um, it is a, a tiny little YouTube channel, but I like to spread my work as much as I can because it does take a lot of time and effort putting these videos together. So I want as many people to see it as possible. Thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you for supporting me and have a great rest of your day. I will see you in my next video. Bye.